Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at how to use the Qualys vulnerability scanning tool for security hardening. And in the previous module, we had seen how we will use and how you can avail some of the help and online training options for Qualys and learn all about vulnerability scanning. And there's some excellent resources available um, once you log in on, onto the free trial account. So let's have a detailed look at Qualys interface for policy compliance. And that's what we're doing actually uh, when we're going to be using Qualys for the security hardening purpose. Now, this is the uh, back to the screen that we have for policy compliance. And as we had shown before, there are five steps. If you click on the first menu item, add IP addresses to scan, then you'll be taken to a new screen. And let's take a look at that. So this is the screen um, that we get once we click on add IP addresses to scan. So as you can see, there's a box, uh, there's a window, and you can enter the IP addresses here. You can enter them uh, in a range with dashes, or you can enter them uh, with commas uh, and, uh, and separate all of the IP address ranges with commas as well. So uh, it's, very, very, it's very simple to add the IP addresses, and then we can move on. Now, once you do that, you'll come back to the screen, and we can click on item number two, which is configure the scan settings. So if once you click on the configure scan settings button, we'll be taken to a new screen. And this is the uh, scan setting, settings window. So this has some default scan settings. And every time that you want to scan, uh, we can set different settings. So there are some timeouts, some processes to run in parallel. And you know there are, there are a number of activities which are being controlled by the settings in this window. And uh, the way that we can operate this is that you can set these and then you can set a scanning profile. And uh, in the scanning profile, all of these settings will be imported automatically. So we go to the compliance profile in the dashboard. And once we click on the new compliance profile, we'll be taken to a new screen, as you can see. Here, we're going to set a new compliance profile title. And we enter the title and we enter the owner. And uh, once we develop this scanning profile, it will adopt all of the scan settings that we had previously set. So now we come to the next window, which is Configure Authentication window. And I would like to mention here that Configure Authentication is really called a credential-based scan. And there are two types of scans. Uh, as you know, there is a non-credential scan and there's a credential-based scan. So credential just means your login and your password or the access to a particular resource. And what we're going to be doing is that the, you know, we, can, we can set a credential scan, and that's a deeper level scan because you have access to the inside of the asset. So there are two ways to scan. You can, you can scan from the outside without credentials, and then you can, scan, you can actually enter the credentials. So the scanner will enter the credentials for you once you provide the inputs. And then the scanner will, will have the detailed inside view um, with the help of the credentials that you have provided. So once you click on uh, the credentials uh, button, we see a menu and now uh, we have to identify which particular asset we're going to enter the credentials for. And in our case, because we have, for example, a Windows server, so we're going to click on Windows record and then new at the bottom of the screen. And then we get an opportunity here to enter the authentication if it's uh, a, we enter the domain name and then we can enter the uh, username and the password as well. Now, once you have entered the credentials um, in, in button number three, we're going to jump to the fifth icon, which is build a policy. So once you click on build a policy, we see this new window, create a new policy. And what we're going to do in our case um, in this demo is that we're going to click on CIS benchmark for Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 2.2.0. And uh, this is a particular asset for which we're going to uh, create a new policy. And as you can see, there's a number of other assets on the left. We can enter Oracle or Windows or SAP or any other asset. Now, once you do that, then we're going to see the policy editor screen overview. And here it's showing us that this policy for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 it has picked up six sections, one technology with 295 controls for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.x. And uh, now we reach the launch compliance scan window. 
and we have come back to the compliance profile. So it's asking us once again that uh, the compliance profile that you entered, uh, this was scan, uh, CIS scan test profile, and it's also showing us the IP addresses that we want to scan, that we had entered. So as you can see, um, the scanning uh, mechanism is fairly straightforward. There are five buttons and five uh, sequence steps. And once you enter those, and you can take help from the online assistance being provided by Squalis, there's detailed resources, detailed training available, and we can take help of that. And the, and the students uh, of this course who are scanning for the first time or who have never used a scanner before, I would suggest that you should spend a few hours and read the documentation about scanning so that you can fully master the, uh, the online Qualys uh, vulnerability assessment tool. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.